McLaren's hopes of staying close in the fight with Alpine have just taken a massive hit. Although the Drivers' Championship is over, the Constructors' Championship will see some shake-ups in the last four races, because there are so many fights going on. Apart from the P2 fight that is ongoing between Ferrari and Mercedes, the Aston Martins charge for P6, Alpine and McLaren are fighting fiercely for the P4 spot in the championship. Many had favoured the working base team prior to the beginning of the season, but after the team's performance as of now, the chances that they'll beat Alpine are really low. That is why the team's principal, Andreas Seidel, had some dark thoughts to share with the McLaren fans recently. Before we dive deep into McLaren's statement, when it comes to the Alpine fight, make sure to smash the subscribe button, like our video and turn on the bell notification. McLaren and Alpine are two teams that had a roller coaster season, but for all the different reasons, Apart from having an intense on-track fight, the fact that Alpine have groomed Piastri just for him to join McLaren, their fiercest rival, says enough about the bad blood that is going on between these two teams. In Singapore, McLaren was able to capitalize perfectly well on the double DNF that struck Alpine, but the French team got back into the game in Japan. With four races to go, it's evident that these two teams will go in a close neck-to-neck -neck fight, but after what Seidel said about the outcome of this fight, McLaren fans won't be encouraged to see the outcome. When talking to motorsport.com, Seidel said that the fight with Alpine will be very tough and that the ball is literally in Alpine's hands when it comes to playing favourites, adding, it's important now for us really to focus on ourselves, make sure that we execute clean weekends, extract every single session the maximum that we have at the moment in our car. Only then do we have a chance to stay in the battle with a very strong Alpine team. We have to acknowledge they did a great job so far this season. It will be very tough for us to stay in this battle until the last lap in Abu Dhabi, but that's what we're here for. Not many people projected McLaren to be this close in the fight with Alpine after the first couple of races, given the fact that the working-based team was just a one-man show with Lando Norris. On the other hand, Alonso has had a fair share of bad luck throughout the season, having a couple of DNF due to mechanical failures and practically keeping the fight with McLaren open. However, the damage Ricardo caused McLaren with his inconsistency is irreversible and the fact that he only has 29 points with four races remaining speaks volumes about McLaren's current state. However, Seidel thinks that the reliability of McLaren's car is something that will play a vital role for the P4 fight, saying, Reliability will play an important part as well in the last races now. But still, I think we have a good car, we have a good team, we have two strong drivers, and if we get our act together, I'm sure we can stay in this battle until the last lap. Fernando Alonso from Alpine shared his thoughts when it comes to the P4 fight, and although the Spaniard will leave the team for Aston Martin, he won't back down and have it the easy way with the working-based team in the last four races. There's going to be some weekends that we can score a few more points than them, some others we will score less. I think Singapore was standing out because it was a big loss in points there, but I think it's going to be very, very tight until Abu Dhabi," said Alonso. Do you like what you're seeing as of now? Make sure to subscribe to our channel and like this video! The bad energy that is surrounding McLaren isn't likely to go away anytime soon, and Norris is also one that spoke about this matter, saying that he has no idea how they are still in a fight with Alpine with this version of McLaren's car. They are in another league to us at the moment. I'm happy we've been able to fight them so far in the season. It shows we've done a very good job in other areas, in reliability, in maximizing our performances, taking opportunities and not making mistakes. They must have done a lot worse than us in all of those areas to only just be ahead of us in the championship with the car they have. Not a surprise, it's not a big fight at the minute because they are so much quicker but we'll keep trying to limit the points lost to them. What does Alpine have to say about the battle with McLaren? It seems like they are focused on battling the big dogs like Mercedes rather than the rattled up McLaren at this moment. When talking about Lando's assessment, the sporting director of Alpine, Alan Permain, said, Lando loves to keep coating that, doesn't he? But we only need to just be ahead. I'm not quite sure why he keeps on. I guess we've got him rattled. We're much more focused on Mercedes and trying to beat Mercedes. 
we're trying to get ourselves onto that sort of level. For those of you who don't know, the difference between P4 and P5 in the Constructors' Championship is estimated at a couple of million dollars. So it would mean the world to each one of these teams if they were able to beat the other one much earlier than the last race in Abu Dhabi. What do you think about the McLaren Alpine fight? Let us know in the comments below. If you want to know what Wolf had to say about the Red Bull's budget cap breach, oh, click on this video on the bottom left of your screen.